Looks like we're going into our next match. All right, and we're getting right into it. I like the determination. H2P, hail to pit. <laughs> Alrighty, now this is a much more interesting match, I'd say. This is Peach and Sheik, but, uh, well, where'd Sheik go? Yeah. Now, see, this is, uh... This is, uh... I, I like this story. This is this is a fairy tale for me. This is the, this is the story of the Peach and her silent lover... Who, oh my god, interrupt because that was disgusting. You know, uh, uh, defending themselves against the, the evil, the evil uh, Fox Banditos. Green team with quite the commanding lead here. Now, blue team's really just trying to get a foot in the door right now, but they're not exactly finding themselves at ease. Because green team is just absolutely so in control right now. Even when they're off the stage, they're doing something funky. And, you know, you would expect nonetheless of featuring PGH Carol, because guy's, uh, guy works wonders on the ledge. You know, that's something that I found that that uh, is true with both members of the Carroll family. So both Silent Swag and PGH Carroll have some really great offstage edge, edge play. So I think that they're very good with their, um, you know, they're really good at just getting things done in the face of danger. I think maybe they, they, they both feed on that, uh, that, that, that rush, I guess, that adrenaline. Oh, and unfortunately, Peach recovers too low for the second time this match. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with either of these smashers and tags. Apparently, Mino, Haxor, and Wawi. Well, there goes the Sheik. That was a solid victory for Green Team. Now, this is what I call representing the, P the Pittsburgh Green. This is classic. Okay, we're going to Dreamland for game two. Not a bad counter pick, but I'd certainly say that Fox and Peach do better here than Sheik does. So this is an interesting choice. I think this is more for Peach's survival sake because you know Peach is gonna take damage here as much as Fox is gonna send her upper to the side. Like she's still gonna live for a while anyway. Like that'll kill. But she's got so much horizontal recovery that it doesn't really matter. And that's it for Blue Team's first stocks a piece. Green team looking real strong here. Looking real mean. ferocious -y. Yeah, Carolyn Bears, Bears fan, dude. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the unintentional drill saves his teammate. Oh, not at all, dude. Please, I need a co commentator. Okay, so we got Oh my god. Carol and Bears fan? <laughs> Carol and Bears fan. <laughs> and that's it for Blue Team's second stocks. For the past two stocks, they've, they've lost both of them at the same time. Have they? Maybe they are in sync. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we got Double Fox. Oh god. <laughs> double Fox. Double Fox for Sheep. Double Beach. Mean Fox. Pittsburgh Green Mean Fox. Pittsburgh Green Mean Fox. You bet. Definitely sounds, sounds yeah. about right. Oh, and they're, they're definitely a good team, these two. Are they a uh, Carol and Bears fan? Carol and Bears fan. Yeah, they're classics. Okay, I know. Um, I know a little bit about Carol. Uh, I thought he'd been pay been playing uh, more Peach as of recently. He though. has been playing more Peach as of recently, at least in um, in terms of teams. He really wants to pick up Peach, and he's been doing like a solid job, absolutely. But mm -hmm. I mean, Fox was his main for several years, so I yeah, think yeah. 
it's just, it's more his style, he's very much, you know, aggressive, he goes in, as opposed to, like, Peach, which is more of a tanky character. So I think that this is just, like, more of his team's approach, as in general, he'll play more Fox, but he de he's definitely not afraid of playing Peach in mm -hmm. teams. Okay, yeah, no, yeah that makes sense, because Peach, Peach being much more of a defensive character than Fox is. Yes, Fox, absolutely. Yeah. Fox, of course, being, uh, having, having both great offensive and defensive tools. Yes. Um, that speed, that speed. Fox can get out about get out of about any situation, except for you know, with the little exceptions of you know, hit stun and things like that. Yeah, yeah, the down, uh, the um, the <laughs> the small drawback to playing a spacey. That, yeah. Uh, if the opponent knows what they're doing, you will get combo to oblivion. Oh, you bet. <laughs> All right, green team has has a really solid uh, really solid uh, lead over the and team. And I'd right expect none less. Oh no, oh. And H air dodges off the stage. Yeah, yeah, that and once again, fortunate. leaving her partner the sheik. <clears throat> but makes it back. Good job. Kudos. Alright, 2-1. Oh, Dreamland, Dreamland. Oh, wow. Dreamland. As, as, much as, as much as, as much as, uh, down throw is always the solution with Pete, with, uh, Sheik, I don't know if that was the right decision here because it's so easy. It takes so much time and it's so easy. Oh, no, guys. Oh, wow. Guys, you don't have to be this mean. Come on. <laughs> Alright, the back air will right, still deal, it. though. And that's a solid set again. Yeah, uh, going back to the down throw though, yeah, that's, uh, although it is one of her best throws, definitely one of her more laggy throws. Yes, uh, absolutely. Back, back throw I think would have been the better choice though. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. I yep. think so too. Okay, so we'll see what happens next. Do These we... two were on the stream just 